really nice, and it's not a lot of bullying. They're all good to others. I think that NPA students are so curious, and they're so excited about answering questions and sharing knowledge and being part of a culture that celebrates knowledge and curiosity and the thirst for information and experience. And it's not so much that other students in the world aren't like that, but it, it seems to me that almost every NPA kid I encounter wants to know more. We, do, we don't just want to learn what we're, we can learn. I mean, we're curious about more things that we want to learn more, we want to have the ability to do other things, and we like have a push factor to do more than we're capable of, or just to push the limits. What sets NPA students apart from other schools in Flagstaff? I think what sets NPA students apart from other schools in Flagstaff is I feel that the students really want to be here. They have a love of learning, they apply themselves, I overhear their conversations a lot about academics and I just really think that um, they have a desire to learn and be a part of this school. Okay. Mr. Hunt, what is the advantage of going to a prep school? Well, I think uh, preparation for college because what our kiddos tell us um, when they go to university after Northland Prep, they always say college is so much easier than NPA. <laughs> They're so well prepared. So I think just the anxiety level of the students when they go to college is much less and they feel much more prepared for success in life. The education. Yeah, our parents send us to MPA so we can get a great education and I think that's what we're getting here. And after high school we'll be able to go to college and get good scholarships. What sets NPA itself, the school building, all the administration and teachers, what sets the whole school apart from other schools? I think what sets us apart from other schools and what I've known from teaching in other places is we are a small community, a small family. Um, our buildings are small enough, our classes are small enough that we really do get to know each other and care about each other and it's not only the home and the parents but it's extended here at NPA with our community and family. Okay. And why is NPA itself a different school than other schools? So first of all we have very small class sizes. My biggest class is 21 students, and so we really get to know each other. And we also are 6 through 12, so we get to see students passing to and fro. Uh, I teach 8th graders, and then I teach seniors, so I see them all through high school. So we really get to know each other. NPA teachers um, understand you, and they make classes fun and interesting. And the sports are also pretty good at MPA, which a lot of people don't know, so it's pretty cool. Why are the sports so good at MPA? Because um, of our awesome PE coach, Mr. Nile and Mr. Schmidt. So what is unique about the MPA culture? What's unique about the MPA culture is the fact that we have 6th grade through 12, and everybody from the administrators to the teachers, to the parents, most importantly the students, we all are pretty much on the same page. We're a really tight-knit community here uh, with the small school. What really sets MPA students apart? Well, what I think really sets MPA students apart is that they come prepared for a good education. They enter NPA ready to work and to put forth their personal effort. Now, what do you think that the money should be used for? I definitely think the money should be used for technology. That's the one. Technology with more technology for the school.